Greetings, peers and queries. Welcome back to another episode of Monday through Friday. You might notice a little bit of a different setup. Uh, number one, new microphone. I'm super excited about the new microphone. Number two, uh, we're back to filming in the room, uh, in the bedroom. Hopefully, I will make it a little bit more cool in the background. Hopefully. Uh, I like those colors the best. All right, so you might be asking, JC, why do you look like that? Uh, I had gone for a little walk earlier today, and we just got our first snowfall where I live a couple days ago. I had uh, gone outside for a walk, had to pay my bills, had to get stuff from the grocery store. I am back home now, so I don't need the sparkly hat, even though I got a lot of compliments on it twice today, compliments on the sparkly hat, and I can lose the hoodie. Blah. So here's the situation. I am going out to game night tonight. Uh, I had gone out last week to my friend's house. Uh, they went ahead and they hosted a game night uh, for a few of their friends. They invited me and it was a lot of fun. Uh, not counting myself, there was about six or eight other individuals and I need to get ready for that event. In fact, I have about an hour until I need to go to the party. So let's hurry up. First things first, even though I like this comfy t-shirt, I need to change it out for something a little bit more flashy, a little bit more party vibes. So let's do that first. Let's change wardrobe. All right, we got the outfit. Uh, let's take care of the face. I'm gonna just brush the hair back so that it's clean and out of the way. There we go. Now I gotta be careful because I do have my flat iron right here and that sucker is on. So note to self. So starting with the foundation, we are gonna use Dream B&B Foundation by Maybelline. And we're just gonna take a little dab of that and we're gonna place it in some key areas. It's a new bottle, so we're gonna shake it up. All right, so we got some on the nose, the upper lip and the chin. We're gonna do the throat too. And on the sides of the neck, we're gonna do it here and here on the cheek. Also, we're gonna get top of the cheekbones. Alrighty. And this is the B&B, this is the beauty blender. This is the step that goes after hydrating and before applying the foundation. All right, that step is done. Moving on, we're gonna put a little concealer underneath the eyes, get rid of some of those bags. I'm using True Match by L'Oreal. This is what it looks like. True Match by L'Oreal. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Just kind of Fill in the like crescent underneath the eyes. And if you have any other blemishes and stuff, you can use this as well to cover that up. Like I got a little dry spot here and here. I'm going to use that to cover it up as well. All right, moving on to the actual foundation. We're going to start with a liquid foundation. I do both a liquid and a powder foundation. I'm weird like that. I feel like the powder foundation helps the liquid foundation to set in. And it also gives me a matte finish instead of a silky or satin finish. We're using CoverGirl's Clean Fresh Skin Milk. And that's what that one looks like. Same places that we went ahead and we put the B&B ointment starting with the nose, the upper lip, Lower lip and chin. There on the cheeks. On the throat. And I'm gonna pull this down a little bit because I am showing a little bit of my collar here. I'm gonna pull it downward. Uh, also, cheekbones. It's 
good to get the forehead too, even if you have a hairstyle similar to mine with bangs. It's good to get the forehead too because it just everything blends in. There's nothing that throws you off more than like the girls that have foundation and then it's like a mask of their face and you can kind of see where everything goes. So I like to blend it in lightly up into the uh, up into the bangs as well. Okay. So we got the liquid foundation on. Now we are going to switch to the solid foundation, to the powder foundation. And I am using L'Oreal True Match powder. That's what it looks like right there. We're just gonna go ahead and load that up on our brush here. I like to start on my nose and work my way out. Again, we're getting the forehead along with this. And we're also gonna cover the area of the eyes. This helps blend everything together, the liquid foundation and the concealer that we had. Also, it takes away the shine. It takes away the shine that you might have like on your cheeks or your nose, nose especially. Remember to get behind the jawline. You don't have to do your whole neck and you don't have to do any exposed collar, but like just kind of feather it in lightly, like a gradient. Next, we're gonna add some background eyeshadow. This is a fun step and a thing to keep in mind, a thing to like remember, is you wanna match off of details of the outfit that you're wearing. It just really brings everything together. We have this dark green here with little hints of gold with these little stars, but I also have this white and black going on. There's not a lot to pull from that other than the dark green, the white, the black effect but I can go off of this, kind of base it on earth tones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some kind of light brown to just do the largest area around the upper part of my eyes. This is the one that we're gonna use. I'm gonna use some of the light brown here as a bit of a background for the eyes. I usually start right above the irises themselves right above the pupil and then go in a little bit and fan it back push in pull back what i'm going to do here a little bit differently is that i'm going to use this light brown on the inner part inner upper part of the eyes because i have a little trick that i'm going to use for the outer quarter or third Since this light brown is a little bit lighter than the shade I'm about to use, I'm focusing it more on the inside, creating the illusion of a much larger eyeball. It's a good idea, it's not necessarily a rule, but it's a good idea to go ahead and keep lighter colors toward the inside of the face and darker colors towards the outside. All right, cool. Now for the outer third of the eye, I'm going to switch over to a different palette. I'm going to use a, and I'm going to use a much darker glittery brown. This is a few shades darker and has a little bit of a glitter effect. I'm going to use that for the outside third. I'm trying to angle it a little bit upward, give it a sharper kind of eye. I wear glasses, I wear glasses, so everything that I do on my eyes is less dramatic in the long run. The frames themselves usually kind of pull people's attention. So that's part of the reason why I do a much larger eyeball. That's part of the reason why I do a larger area and get a little bit more in depth with it. But I'm thinking 
that is okay for now we're going to move on to the actual lid itself the actual eyelid itself what i want to do for the eyelid is i am going to go a little bit darker i am going to go black and normally i would do something that has black with like silver specks in it silver pieces of glitter but because i'm wearing this gold here i am going to go with something that has black and gold flakes inside of it it doesn't make a huge difference uh, whether i do the silver or the gold but i know and because I know, I'm trying to tie it all together. Because we used a darker color and some of it fell to our face, I'm gonna take our powder foundation brush again and I'm just gonna reapply a little bit. I've already wiped away the little powder that was there. I don't want it being an issue later tonight. There we go. Next, I am gonna do my eyebrows. Why am I doing my eyebrows if my hair covers it? Because the spaces in between the bangs, you can still see a little bit of it. So I'm going to use my eyeshadow to darken up my eyebrows. We're not being super dramatic. We're not drawing them on. What we are doing is that we are making sure that we're coating the hairs that are there. Ideally, um, if you're anything like me, you pluck your eyebrows a little bit, about once every week or two, uh, just to keep them managed. So we're just brushing on the eyeshadow to what's already there. If you're doing a cosplay or you just wanna be extra dramatic, this is a good time to like shape it the way that you want, not the eyebrow itself, not like the actual hairs, but you can use this step uh, to go ahead and give more of an arch or more of a sinister type look. All really depends on what you're going for. Remember, when it comes to eyebrows, less is more. Not necessarily in thickness, just the amount of makeup that you apply to it. If you have a thicker eyebrow, that's okay. That looks good. And it's okay to use a thicker brush sometimes too. You're not necessarily going for like Groucho Marx or Eugene Levy. Uh, but like, don't feel like everything has to be pencil thin. It doesn't. We are now going to apply some eyeliner. I am using this by e.l.f. Uh, this isn't the brand. I don't know what the brand is, but it's like a long cone. And there's the brush. This stuff goes on good. It goes on smooth. It glides and it lasts forever. So this stuff lasts until you take it off. Here we go. Also, when you're matching up the wings of your eyes, when you're matching up the wings of the eyeliner, remember that you're looking for sisters, not twins. They don't have to be identical. Cut yourself some slack. Here we go. Let's see how we did. So that one's choppy, that one's clean. We're gonna thicken it up a little bit. There we go. That's all you really need. Uh, normally if I was going like high goth fashion, this would be a lot more extreme. If I was doing punk or emo fashion, this would be a lot more extreme. That's all we need right now. Next, we're gonna do some mascara. I think I got a little bit of it in my eyeball. I got the stigmata in my eye. So we could end it there for the eyes, but what I'm gonna do instead is because we have this black and white look, I'm gonna take a much thinner makeup brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of white underneath in the wet line of my eyes. I like to mix both a matte white with like a shimmery pearlescent. Why? Because I'm extra.
I'm going to do the same thing now for the corners of the eye. All right, cool. Now we're going to move on to the lips. I didn't really decide if I wanted to go black, red, or purple, but we're doing this. We're doing red. This is accelerator uh, by Maybelline it's a liquid lip stain and this shit works excuse me this stuff works really really good now this stuff stays on once it dries it is smooching proof it is eating proof it is drinking proof what I like to do as an extra step is I like to take a q-tip I like to take the q-tip dip it in the eyeshadow and roll it around of a similar shade and then just use it as a powder. Now I'm going to switch it, use the other side, and I'm going to do a slightly darker shade for the upper lip, give it that kind of Kim Possible look. You know, Shigo. Nice. Uh, last step is going to be the hair. We're going to fix the bangs. Finally, because that is something that is very noticeable. Action of it further forward and into place. Now, we're going to take the hair strainer, the hot iron. Just take a section at a time and kind of curl it once you get to the end. Uh, it creates a little bit more of a, a natural feathered look. You don't really have to put any product into your bangs. It's just more or less habitually heating it up, getting it the way that you want. All right, so we got that lined up. See how much better that looks? Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use the two hair ties that I have here. I'm gonna bring some of my hair forward. This is my hair. It's shorter underneath because I during June I had an undercut where I basically shaved it all off. So it's now winter or close to winter. So it's growing kind of haphazardly, but I'm just taking a little section, maybe a lot less than that. And I'm pulling it forward like this. So it's about, mm, let's say about finger thick. <laughs> That's way dirtier than I meant it to be, but uh, maybe I did mean it to be that way. Maybe I did mean it to be that way. It's finger thick, baby. You want like about a finger thick thread there. And a finger thick thread here. Now remember it will change based on who you are and how thick your fingers are. All right, so we got that there. I'm gonna pull the rest of this back for a moment. We're gonna put our hair tie back in. I've got a few different colored hair ties. Uh, the rainbow ones are a lot softer than the black ones. Why is this dirty? All right. <laughs> okay. So now that I've got this strand here, the first thing I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to use the hot iron, but I'm going to twist around and I'm going to drag down like that. I'm going to do this again. And that gives it a little bit of a wave. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. See? Wave. Curl to it. No wave. There we go. Now I am gonna add a little bit of product to this. I'm using Gots To Be Glued. This is like a gel. All you need is a little dab. A little dab will do ya. On both hands. Well then why did you go through the process of using the hot iron? Again, because I'm extra. And then the Gots To Be Glued helps maintain the shape throughout the night. I can double dose that, use a little bit of Tresemme on my hands. And get a little bit higher up. And then I will go back to the Gots To Be Glued. No more than a little bit.
Okay, now I am gonna pull this back and am I going to do pigtails? Probably not this time. I'm just gonna do a regular old uh, ponytail. I have the ponytail now. And there we have it. That is the final overall look. Uh, the necklace does have both gold and black in it. So it kind of ties in with the gold or brass filigree and the black lines on the top. Also my hair. Uh, the lipstick now looks awesome compared to the jewelry that I have selected. So it's just everything's kind of tying itself together. Um, thank you all very much for watching this. I think I'm ready to go play some Cards Against Humanity. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Other than that, I make new videos every Saturday. So be sure to watch for a new video coming out next Saturday. Uh, until then, I love you all very much. Bye.